Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Escape Pod. Thank you for escaping with us. That's Andrew. I'm Alex. And as always, with great power comes great button ability. Oh! Hey, we have a new thing. We're introducing a new element to the pod. There's going to be a button in the middle of the table. You see the button? Okay. And at any time, either of us can press this button. And each episode is going to do something different. We're going to take suggestions. You guys decide what uh, the most liked comment on YouTube will decide. What the button does. What the button does. Every time we press it this episode, we have to say something nice about the other person. Uh, this is a su suggestion from Deborah. Yeah, Deborah just, she knew the positivity wasn't going to last. Yep, we which had, she was right. You got me that terrible Man of Steel I was trying DVD. to be nice. Okay, no, uh -huh. all right. I, Go gave, I got you a gift. Yeah, well, I'm glad that we're back to not being nice because I... Yeah. I hate you. Yeah, I hate you too. Let's so, run it. But uh, just to keep a little bit of positivity, we're going to press the button anytime we want the other person to say something nice about us. Love it. Shall we do news? Uh, yeah, let's start off with the news. Go. Okay. Jeff Loveness. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar? Quantumania. He wrote uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. He is writing Avengers Kang Dynasty. Yeah. He was... Ew. Yeah, he was shocked and disappointed by the poor reviews that Ant-Man got. Mm, it got poor reviews? What? Yeah, it got real bad <laughs> reviews. He was very upset. He. I thought everyone loved that movie. No, and uh, so I just wanted to go over some things. Uh, first of all, Jeff Loveness, you wrote a bad movie. Second, <laughs> second tell, of all... Tell him how it is, Alex. Yeah, second of all, uh, these are... Right, so he's writing Avengers Kang Dynasty. He's probably writing or a writer for Secret Wars. Uh, let's just talk about the writing credits that got Jeff Loveness to be handed the keys to the MCU. To the MCU. All right, let's hear it. Six episodes of Rick and Morty. Okay. Sure. It really depends on the episodes there. Six episodes of The Miracle Workers starring Daniel Radcliffe. Have you ever heard of that show? Nope. Me neither. <laughs> and 238 episodes of The Jimmy Kimmel Show. Oh, no. Oh no! These are the cr the cr that's the criteria you need to write the next Avengers. Oh, well, that explains the quantum mania. Certainly yeah. does. <laughs> uh, my first piece of news: the Flash TV show yeah. has wrapped filming today, as of filming this okay. uh, podcast after nine years. Cool. Yeah. Are, I don't are you sad? You're not. No, I don't care. Not even a little bit. I never watched it. You never watched the Flash at all? No. Uh, uh that's fair. I watched. Did you watch Era? A little bit, but not much. Flash is good. I watched like two or three seasons. Uh -huh. It has its ups and downs, and then I've heard very mixed things about it since then. Yeah. But it is sad. I mean, Grant Gustin does a great job. and I've heard he's great. Yeah. I'm sure he's great. There, there are some good parts of the show. It's fun, and it's sad to see it come to an I end. I thought but... it was cool when they did they did like Flashpoint, right? Mm -hmm. And they, they brought Ezra Miller yep. in. Yep. That's really cool. They've done a lot of stuff in that show. That was that was pretty good. The reverse Flash was really good in that show. Like, mm. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's done, though. So. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. I'm really excited for the Flash movie. Yeah, I'd rather have Ezra Miller. Uh-oh. <laughs> Kidding. Keep going. Uh, Donnie Yen. You familiar with the actor? You would know him as Chirrut Imwe in Rogue One. I'm one with the Force, the Force is with me. Oh, I'm yes. I'm one with the Force, the Force is with me. <laughs> one of the I'm only one with things the I remember. The Force is with me. Yeah, that's exactly. great. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, Asian. Uh, 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 he, uh, he's blind. Yep. yep. So he's going to be in John Not Wick. in real life. In the movie. He's not blind in real life, is he? No, but I think that he's playing a blind character in John Wick 4 as well. They love having him be blind. What? It's like Charlie Cox. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, so uh, Donnie Yen, he's in John Wick 4, and he said recently in an interview that he's been frustrated with Hollywood because every time he gets cast, the character is called like Chang or Shang, and their like, outfit is very oriental, mm. kind of just pushing the Asian thing. And he's like, hey, I'm in John Wick. Everybody gets to be cool in suits. Why can't I be cool in a suit? So is he going to be cool in a suit? Yeah, yeah. They changed everything. Okay, but he cool. said he had to do it for Rogue One and John Wick mm. 4, which I think is actually really, really interesting. It brings up um, an interesting thought process that I've had with friends before, which is uh, there aren't too many superheroes that are Asian that they're that aren't kung fu people. They're not karate. Shang Chi, obviously. Yeah, but there's a bunch of them. There's yeah. like I, I can't. You can't really think of too many. And like Shang Chi, that would be like having a white guy, and his 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 superpower is that he cooks a mean burger, <laughs> and his name is Daniel. What about um Wong? His name is Wong. He doesn't count. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we just have like an Asian American? 
like Superman style just character, and his name is Kyle. Right one. Yeah. Great one. I got you, James Gunn or Kevin Feige. Dave Filoni. Yeah. Reportedly. Yeah. The directed. Boy. Yep. One of the best scenes in all of Star Wars. I saw this. Darth Vader and Rogue One at the end. Yeah. yeah. Freddie Prince Jr. came out and said, yeah. he was like, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but Dave Filoni. He's the, the man. man. Love him. I'm, uh, glad he, I'm glad he's on my top four directors list. Yeah. Even, yeah, even now, more now. Even more now. Even more now. We love Dave Filoni. Um, I've got a theory about Dave Filoni. Okay. That I wanted to discuss with you. And I want your feedback because if this is a terrible idea, let me know, please. But Dave Filoni really bridged the gaps between Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith with the Clone Wars to the point where the Clone Wars, the last four episodes, take place during Revenge of the Sith. I think he's doing that with Bad Batch and bridging um, bridging Clone Wars to the original trilogy. And I think he's doing it with Mando, bridging the original trilogy to the sequels. That'd be cool. And they fixed a lot of things. They made the prequels better. By, with Clone Wars, I think they're going to do the same thing. A lot of people have been hating on Bad Batch. It's got a lot of really interesting stuff. And, like, a lot of people hate the filler episodes. There's plenty of filler in Clone Wars. You guys just don't remember because yeah. you're nostalgia go- goggles. What about the whole episodes of the, uh, of, of the Jar Jar episodes? What about Bomb Bad Jedi? You're telling me that's a great episode? No, there's a lot of Clone Wars episodes. For every episodes. Umbara arc, we have Mace Windu and Jar Jar trying to figure out who's killing his girlfriend. Jar Jar's oh, girlfriend. Oh, I remember that. Yes, like, like there's a lot of filler in Clone Wars that a lot of people don't. So yeah, there's a lot of filler in Bad Batch, but for all the filler in Bad Batch, you get the Crosshair episode with Cody, or you get the, the Zillow Beast episode. So... That just came out. So I'm actually really interested because imagine a world where Rex is in Bad Batch, Crosshair's in Bad Batch. Imagine a world where they bridge it so much so that you see the Battle of Endor from Mm. Rex's point of view and he's the old guy. That'd be so sick if you saw that. And I think that that's what Dave Filoni is going to go for. I mean, he's smart enough to pull it off. That would be pretty cool. The GOAT. Love him. Uh, Just a a reminder, we're doing a giveaway. Yes, we are. Um, So we're giving away, we're not going to bring it out, but this Kang shirt back here. The Mm -hmm. link is in the description. The link is in all of our bios. Yes, it is. A uh, thousand on Instagram, ten thousand yep. on YouTube. Like we have all these benchmarks. I can't remember what what, what all they I were. I believe exactly. it's two thousand on YouTube. Yep. It's it's a thousand on Instagram, and, and it's uh, twenty thousand on TikTok. And then we'll give that shirt away. And we've got more podcast uh, giveaways coming. Yep. Um, also. Follow us on everything. The Escape Please. Pod podcast. We are very interactive on Instagram. We we respond to DMs. We do polls. We do stuff like we're that. We're inter- interactive everywhere because we have me. Andrew, and we have a social media person. So we are as active as we can. Uh, she shows us everything that, that that she sees. Look, we love you guys so, so much. And we really, really, really appreciate all the support and love that you guys have been giving us. We've only been doing this podcast for a month and a couple days. And we've already just, I mean, we've gotten to interact so much with you guys. Yesterday, I was at a mall and somebody came up to me and said... Isn't that psycho? It's that, awesome. It's crazy. Like, I'm so, so grateful for everything. Just we are a new podcast. So as much that you can do, we really, really appreciate yeah. it. Follow, subscribe, like, comment, all the engagement that you can. It really helps show us to the rest of the world so that we can you know, continue to grow and continue to meet you guys and continue yeah. to build this community that we're so, so proud of. So thank you guys in advance for all yeah. your help. Give us some five-star reviews on Spotify, yes, Apple Podcasts. all Pocket. that, all that, would, that. That would really help like, us out. Like, share, tell your friends. We really appreciate it. Yeah, that would, that would help us out a lot. Yeah, um, We're talking about fans. Do we want to go to the fan segment? Yes, let's do it. Uh, first off, as we said, follow us on Instagram and everything. Yeah. Uh, because we interact with y'all there. Uh, but also we've gotten some fan art. Yes. And we decided to print it out and add it to our wonderful set. Yes. Um, so if you All w- fan art we get will be on the set. Yeah. So we're really trying to connect with y'all. We're going to start a Discord. Our Discord is going to be linked in the description of this episode and on the links in all of our bios now. Yep. So next episode, next time we do a fan segment, we want to... Um, we'll be answering questions live. Yeah. yeah. So join, yes. join the Discord. You'll get to be on the pod. Uh, maybe we'll do a PO box. Maybe we'll do a Reddit, stuff like that. But for right now... DM, DM us the stuff on Instagram. Fan art is awesome. My favorite. So we've got you and me clinking. Yes. You have a horse on your shirt, which yes. is great. This and is, I've got a Marlins hat. Yep. And this is me swinging around as Spider-Man. You as Deadpool on a horse. On a horse. Amazing. And then this one's my favorite. It's me as Kronk with a with a pin that says, I love Deborah," And my pants say, Shang-Chi is better than She-Hulk. <laughs> and you as Mr. Incredible with your lesbian hair. Excellent. And the I... An incredible starts a sentence. I effed Andrew's mom. Oh yeah, I did. I f- the sh- 
out of Andrew's okay, mouth. Okay, all right, all right, calm down. So let's just add these back here for now. Maybe we'll find a better spot for them. Yeah. And then, right there, we will con we will continue in our fan segment with the questions. Yes. In mug number three. Are we ready? Yep. Button. I like your shirt. Thank you. Are we ready? Yep. Let's get to it. Stir fry. Time is frozen for three days and only you can move or do anything. What would you do? I would subconsciously try to train you to have less bad movie opinions. So you would be sitting there or standing or sleeping or whatever. I would just whisper into ears constantly opinions that aren't awful. That's good. I like that. Um, I, I would, I want to go to the white house and I want to see, I just want to see it. I want to go to the basement. I want to see the, all the secrets. I want to know everything. Yeah. You want to go to the Kennedy's sex tunnels. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, uh, Najano Kabraberg. Worst date you've ever been on. This is much more of a question for you. I haven't had that many bad dates. I mean, I haven't really had that many bad dates either. There's just been a couple where like, I'm pretty good at making conversation. Like I, I like I'm, uh, animated like talkative person yep um like i talk to strangers pretty consistently yep. so if you're so bad on a date that conversation is dying that means you're pretty bad at talking i wouldn't consider it a date but me and rachel were once out pretty early in our relationship probably less than a year into our relationship mm -hmm. we're out with a bunch of my friends mm -hmm. and um and one of my like I, like she was fighting with me mm. like she was mad at me about something mm. and like one of my dear friends uh passed away so I got the call from his mother and I was like really upset with her and she kept pressing it. So I was really upset at her. Yeah. Oof. So I don't know if that would consider it a date. We mm. definitely went to a place that we would go on dates on. Yeah. Like the sushi restaurant. And I was Awkward. Yeah, that was bad. Jonah Price, how many horses have you abused, Alex? None. None, unfortunately. He, he loves I've, horses too I've much. ridden a couple horses. But if I there's don't think any I've more abused. horse questions, I'm leaving. Uh, I'm sure there are. Ooh, would you rather own Wayne Enterprises or Stark Industries? Um, I'm going Stark Industries. No, I'm going Wayne Enterprises. Okay, go why? Uh, well, first of all, you get Lucius, who's yeah, the goat. That, that's one of the reasons I might go Wayne. Right, but. and and I'm not selling weapons. Yeah. So like, I don't have to deal with a conscience. You're against there. nukes. I am anti nukes. We have a dear friend that's anti nukes, and now I'm anti nukes. Uh, he's Just kidding, he's right? convinced you. Very. No, I'm going. Person. I'm going. Um, You're going Stark because of Jarvis and Pepper and yeah, that and all that. But also, like, I wouldn't have to deal with like trying to be secretive about it as Batman. If like, I'm assuming like you're kind of Batman, like you have to hide all of your technology and all that's stuff to make you Batman. Stress. As Stark, he's just Stark. Yeah, that's, that's you're adding stress. And then would you rather, uh, this is Stir Fry 365. Okay. Uh, would you rather be able to use the force or use the speed force? Force easily for speed me. Speed force. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame you, but I just like- Both great. The thought process of not having to get up and just to- get that from yeah. the other side of the room is awesome but also like i could be in japan now if i wanted to no definitely like, yeah. yeah 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 um savvy b anchored this is um a friend of mine or a fan who's who's followed me for over six years um savannah favorite veggie tale song do you have one yes you do yes it's the oh i can't remember for the life of me the name of it but it's the goliath song oh it's I don't the, know. I, it's the song that it's Goliath. I don't know if they sing it about Goliath. I don't think Goliath sings it, but his like little minions are singing about Goliath. It's great. Uh, well, there's the one about the Jerusalem Wall, which is pretty good, and then there's Madame Blueberry, which is also a classic. My personal favorite is the one about David. Bum bum bum. Oh no, what we're we gonna do? The king likes Daniel more than. And there's like a rap at the end. You don't know that one? Interesting. It's great. Yeah, I'm, I, I like the Goliath one. Yeah, good pick. You want all right? You want to button me? No. All right, button. Um, you have an uh, you have a good work ethic. Thank you. Yeah. Shep, my boy. Yeah. Who is a better uh, villain, Joker in uh, the Joker, or Bane in Dark Knight Rises? Joker in the Joker. Yep. I'm going Bane. Pretty handedly. I do not like Joker. Oh, yeah, because you movie. don't like the backstory. I don't I don't care. I think yeah, I'll just go Bane just because. I don't like that uh, movie uh, very much, though. Do you feel in, in control? control? Um, but how? Oh, freaking. What a beautiful voice. It's so Tom good. Tom Hardy. Aiding uh, Parker, if you were in the last movie slash TV show you watched, what would you be in? I'd um, be in Civil War. 
Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, I would be in technically Operation Fortune, which yeah. is a movie with, what's his name? Jason Statham. Coming out. Oh, actually, I watched Shadow and Bone on Netflix since then, because I'm going to the red carpet for season two of that later this week. Okay. So one Will of Will I be joining you? It depends on how many horse questions we get. Next. Excellent. T3 Roach, <laughs> if you could pick one actor to switch lives with for one day, who would it be? Oh. I don't really care. Um, I'm doing Jake Gyllenhaal right now because the man is shredded. Did you see that video? Yes, I did. He's doing promo for like a UCF movie he's in or something, and he came out. UCF is not. UCF is a college. UFC? There you go. That was close. UCF. I, he's I, not I, doing promo. He's just filming. Yeah. That's, yeah. So he was filming a scene for that. and um, He does look shredded. He's next daddy, perhaps. Oh, my gosh. What am I picking? Wait, hold on. Um, I printed them out. You have way more than this. Yeah, I know. Those are the only ones I can. We have my, this is my list of daddies. We have Pedro Pascal, David Harbour, and Godzilla. So you're adding Jake? Yeah, we're adding Jake. Let me know if there's any more that I missed. Notice you're not on this list. Jason Momoa, James Gunn, Dave Filoni, Kevin Feige. Kevin Feige. Yeah, Kevin Feige should be on there. What celebrity am I changing? What movie star am I you changing? You have about five seconds, so we need to move on. Give me Garfield. Okay. Yeah, give me Andrew Garfield. I love the social network. I love Spider-Man. He's such a great Spider-Man. I just, yeah. Give me Garfield. Go. Next. What Marvel character do you think thinks the Earth is flat? So what Marvel character is a flat earther? I have an answer for this to you. Go ahead. Hannibal Burris's character from the Tom Holland Spider-Man trilogy. Oh, uh, Mr. Harrington. Is he the, he's, he's the teacher? No. He's the gym teacher. Oh, the gym coach. Oh, where, the conspiracy where, theorist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like, he's like, he's like, Mysterio was right. Yeah. You're a murderer. <laughs> I love it. That's a great Burns. answer. Yeah. What will be the breaking point for you to stop watching Marvel movies? Like, how bad does the MCU need oh, to mess up? Oh, that's a great question. If the podcast gets big and this becomes my full-time job, it would be my job to watch those movies and thus shit on them. But... They'd have to be really bad. They've given me a lot of like leeway. They've earned a lot of leeway of I really enjoy. I mean, them. yeah, I go see movies every week, and I yeah. go see movies that I know are going to be bad. Yeah. So I'd I'd watch regardless, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I feel even that. if it comes to a meme where they're so bad where it's just a meme to watch them, I would still watch them. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, I'm with you there. Uh, Shep, again, question for next episode. I have a question. Uh, which is, what is your favorite video game or video games? Uh, I like I like the Arkham Batman games. Yeah, and then uh, I played um, Warzone a lot with my brother. That give me fun. Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga, and also really give me good. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Also really good. I like both of those. Yeah. Uh, Dylan Pruitt, question for the podcast: Which Spider-Man would win in a fight? Toby, Andrew, or Tom? Love the podcast. Love you. Oh. We're both. We're gonna say it on three. Which Spider-Man would win? Okay. We're gonna say it on three. Three, three two, two, one. one Toby. Tom. What? I just, uh, this is tough. I don't know why you think this is so easy. Toby's. I thought you told me before that, like, Toby's easily the strongest. Is he? It's definitely not Tom. Tom's at the bottom of the list. But Tom's got all the gadgets and stuff. Yeah, that's such a cop out. Like, like none of them are beating the Iron Spider. <sighs> okay, they're all in the same kind of suit. They're not Iron Boy Jr. Andrew they're beats Electro. None of them can beat Electro. But Toby takes the biggest beatings. Yeah. Toby's like the toughest. And he's the most, he, he seems to be the oldest. He's also the smartest. I'm going Toby probably. Yeah, but Andrew's really smart. It's not Tom. Only if Tom has a suit given but to Tom him. Tom has the suits. Like. Yeah, that's such a cop out though. That's, that's Iron Man beating Andrew and Toby, not him. He didn't make the Iron Spider suit. I'll okay. give you Toby. He just takes the biggest beatings. Next. Which base Marvel character do you think has the biggest wiener? What does base mean? Like main, I, I would assume. Like, not like an offshoot character. Hard to argue with Thor. Ooh. What about Tony? No. I think Tony no. has... He's very loud. Right? Like, he builds a big monument to himself. You think the guy has a huge wiener? It's hard to argue with Thor. Cap probably isn't it. No. 
I mean, T'Challa, statistically. <laughs> Typical Asian kid. <laughs> That's a bad name right after. Who was the hottest guy in Disney movies and why? I'm going Flynn Rider. Also Tarzan. I, I ain't got nothing. Okay, well, let's just agree with me. I guess Flynn Rider. Say, yes, I agree with you, Andrew. I agree with you, Andrew. Flynn Rider. That's fine. Okay. They designed him to be hot. Yeah, and they yeah. did a great job. It's Zachary Levi, though. That's about, Zachary Levi. What about Tarzan? No, Tarzan isn't up there for me. You are tripping. It's such an impossible question. I have so many. What about... What's the dude from Princess and the Frog? Uh, uh, Prince... Naveen. Hot as f***. Oh, yeah, he's up there, too. Naveen is hot. David from Lilo and Stitch Ooh. is pretty good. No. Oh, Prince Eric from nah. Ariel? No. Nah. Little Mermaid? Nah, he's not the hottest. That's Rachel's favorite. Nah, she's tripping. That's, Alex, why, that's why she thinks you're attractive. Alex Fitzpatrick. Since Alex is so imminent that... Uh, the Last Jedi is a good movie. Does he like what they did with Luke's character in particular and think it was faithful to his character arc? Okay, I'm not only I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to answer this. Not only is it faithful and great and do I love it, I think it actively makes his character better. Good. All right. Would Andrew ever visit Florida? Yeah. He's lived in Florida. Yeah, I go I back. I also love Florida. Obviously. I go back there every once in a while. I miss it. Logan Kester. I have a question for the next time you guys do a fan segment. What is your favorite Avatar The Last Airbender character and why? I know mine. I know yours. Okay, go. Uncle Iroh? Yep. Zuko? Not a bad choice. Star Joe the Conqueror. Who would win in a fight, Shrek or Moon Knight? Interesting question. MCU Moon Knight, then it's Shrek. What? Comics Moon Knight, and it's Moon Knight. Nah, it's Moon Knight. It's Moon Knight. Shrek's Shrek is like a giant. What the f*** is Oscar Isaac going to do to Shrek? He's an ogre. He's like indestructible. They he's can't not set indestructible. Him on fire. He's a he's a fat, tall guy. Yeah, he'll f you up. Do you see how small those people are next to Shrek? Moon Oscar Knight. Isaac's like five Moon ten. Moon Knight. Moon Knight. No, he's got the. Yeah, what are those gonna do to Shrek? I'm telling you, comics Moon Knight. It's Moon Knight, but not in the MCU. Uh, would you rather do a pod do the podcast with Alex or a horse? That's number two. To be honest, there wouldn't be much of a difference. Star Joe the Conqueror, what would you be more scared of if you, if you were a criminal? A Batman who's smiling or a Spider-Man who stops talking? Oh. So this, to clarify, this is not the Batman who laughs. Because if it was the Batman who laughs, it would obviously be the Batman who laughs. Batman who laughs is one of the scariest designs yeah. ever. Spider-Man who stops talking. Um, I'm going to go Batman who's smiling. I'm going Spider-Man. Why? It's terrifying. Like, it, like it's on paper... Spider-Man, like he's a nice guy and everything, but on paper, Spider-Man is so much scarier than Batman if you're just a common criminal. No. No. Joe Marsh, who's your favorite Robin? Um, Dick Grayson. Yeah, me too. Um, but I like his backstory a little bit more. He becomes Nightwing. Yeah, yeah, but I'm real excited for Damian Wayne. Damian Wayne's at the bottom of my list. He's so annoying. Yeah, but I think it's going to be hilarious with it's James Gunn at the helm. It's a cool character, like with the Ra's al Ghul, Talia al Ghul, like where he came from kind of thing. And I like, just love that he's a little murderous. He's actually, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's his actual like biological hilarious. son, stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, is kid, uh, if you could make it have any spin off feature film made in the Star Wars universe, what would it be and what, what would the genre be? Well, Easy. Yeah. Cool. I need a Star Wars horror movie. Yep. I want one so bad. Give me one on some planet and there's some monsters that the stormtroopers are scared of. Give me like an Imperial, like a zombie virus kind of on an Imperial Star Destroyer and the Imperials are... Give me any Star Wars horror movie, please. Give me a Wampa, like like Everest Yeti movie. Ugh. Give me any of that. Onion, my boy. Uh, Onion's what, great. What's a good horse documentary? That's three. Uh, I don't know about any horse documentaries, but um, there are some good horse movies. Uh, War Horse is pretty popular, so is Secretariat. Um, you don't actually have to answer these. Spirit is probably going to be my favorite horse movie. Hunter Bussy, uh, I know Hunter, should have the Star Wars sequel trilogy focused more on Finn instead of Rey? No, but they should have given more love to Finn and not screwed him. I think Finn could have been handled... Better. I, I think they should have killed him in Last Jedi. I think Finn could have been handled better. But I think I, they should have killed him in Last Jedi. I think Finn could I have. I think been, they should have killed him in Last Jedi. I think Finn could have been handled better. I think but, they should have killed him in Last Jedi. Yep. Next. Uh, David Sabo. Which Marvel character should have an OnlyFans account? 
hard to not go with Scarlet Witch here. Yeah. <laughs> well, and and Black. Oh, oh, I can't really. God, I have a different opinion on OnlyFans because if I'm a Christian, then most people will disagree That's with so me. So whack. I know, but I, in this hypothetical comedic question, um, I would say yeah, Scarlet Witch would be hard to argue with. <sighs> Black Widow though. Yeah, but like Scarlet Witch, bro. Like that'd about, be crazy. What about Korg? Get the f out of here. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to pick for a name. Asked, uh, what is your favorite type of horse, and does your girlfriend like horses? Rachel, do you like horses? No. She does not. You're dating. Well, you're dating I don't, I don't one. Have, I don't have beef with them, but I'm not obsessed with them like him. That's that's five. Uh, I like a good two. brown horse. I like the European horses because those horses are huge. Uh, question for Andrew. What would be your dream uh, TASM 3 plot and how often do you need to wash the Spider-Man honey? I washed it yesterday. Yeah. I don't know how often I That's did. why you're not wearing it. Yeah. Um, dream TASM 3 plots. I know mine. But he specifically asked for you. Why not bring Venom in? Exactly. Yeah. Wally B, what is your favorite and least favorite live action remakes? I assume this is... Uh, about Disney favorite and live and least favorite yeah Ooh. he says my favorite is Christopher Robin I agree with that yes Christopher Robin's amazing with Ewan McGregor yes it's so good clink me that's, that's on, on gang, gang for, for real, real for real for real for real, real. <laughs> there you go fun he also asked what's the best horse movie you already answered yeah, that yeah I'll go spirit I guess that's six keep going um, Psyduck Lord if you could, what superhero would you turn into a horse? That's, That's seven. seven. Um, I, want, I want to see it. I'm not answering this. I, I almost got sucked see, in. I almost got sucked in. I, I would love to see an iron horse. Button. You're not a lesbian. That's a compliment? Yep. Oh, you're going to get canceled. Well, you are a lesbian. Mason Harper, highlight of my day. I assume he's talking about the podcast. Thank you. Thoughts oh. thoughts on the Scream movies? They're great. Yeah. They're not the best movies in the world, but they're fun. No, they're super fun. Yeah. I like the one with Carmen Electra. She's got big boobies. Continue. Scream. That's not Scream. It's the one that makes fun of Scream. What's the one that makes fun uh, of Scream? A scary movie. movie. Luke Andrews, what are the best Clone Wars episodes? In whatever order you want, The Siege of Mandalore yep. is one, two, three, and four. You can put fifth place, can be something from Mimbara, it can be something from Mortis, it can be something from the Citadel, whatever the hell you want. I but like, I really like the first episode. With Yoda and the clones? Yoda pops off in that episode, yep. and it's great. You like that episode? He uses a lightsaber. I don't like that he uses a lightsaber in Attack of the Clones, but they did it, so they have to keep doing it. So right. I like him after that, but no, give me, yeah, give me. One, two, three, and four is Siege of Mandalore in whatever order. Last one, Jalen Gordon Parker. If you had the chance to kiss a cow, would you do it? I actually have a funny answer to this. All right, go. I had a, I had uh, an opportunity uh, to kiss, yeah. Um, Melissa I, McCarthy? No, I, I kissed your mom last night. Woo-wee! Next. Ladies and gentlemen, back by popular demand. Rachel, my girlfriend, is back on the podcast. Woo! So what we're going to be doing with this trivia session is something we've never done before on the podcast. People have been asking us to do it. We are doing trivia versus each other. We both really, really know our stuff. Well, let's see who knows more. So Rachel has concocted a group of 20, 21 questions that she'll be quizzing us on. We have to buzz in and get it right. The loser will have to dress like the other person. So if, 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 if you were to lose... I have to dress like hat guy. You'd have to put on a hat, maybe a hoodie. Uh, if I were to lose, I don't even want to think about it. All, All right. right, ladies and gentlemen. So just to go over the rules with everyone here. She's going to be reading a question. We yes. can buzz in at any time during the question. As soon as we buzz in, she will stop reading the question Correct. and we have to take a guess. Correct. She will then, con if you get it wrong, she will then finish the question and the other person has a chance. Correct. To we should probably take, keep track. So I will go Andrew. I mean, it's going to be 20 to zero, so. Alex, no, no stress. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are okay, ready? wait. What, what are the topics? Some mis miscellaneous. So a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Like Marvel, Star Wars, Disney, Harry Potter, that kind of stuff. All right. Maybe. All right. Let's do it. Maybe. Okay. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. First question: What is the name of Tiana's restaurant in Princess in the? Um, I know it. Tiana's Palace. Correct. 
Okay. Frig. All right. All right, next question. Uh -huh. What species is the Inquisitor in Star Wars Rebels? No idea. Is it the main Inquisitor? Inquisitor? Well, that's Inquisitor, not, that's not the a white thing. One? So. Is it the white guy? D no answer. <laughs> oh, the, he has three stomachs. It think. starts with a P. You don't know this at all, no, right? No, I've, I've never watched Rebels. Ponum. We have to have a time limit here. Count all right, down. I'm going to count it. Ten. What happens nine, if I get it wrong? Nothing? No. Eight. A pawn. I, I don't know how to pronounce P A U apostrophe A N. A pawn. A pawn. Yeah, you can have that. Yeah, yeah, you can have that. Yeah, you can have that. Excellent. Very good. I didn't think you were gonna get it. <laughs> Question three: Does Palpatine have a lightsaber? And if so, <laughs> yes, and he has two. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. They call me the big Button. bad wolf. Button. You're handsome. Let's do it. Okay. Four. Have you ever heard the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? No, it's not a story the Jedi would tell you. <laughs> Did you bribe her? Let it be known that I have gotten the one dude. Disney question, yeah. and she's asked three Star Wars um, since, and you're clearly better at Star Wars. I'm no, on a run! I, I don't want him to win, so don't worry, he didn't bribe me. Okay, four. I mean five, sorry. In Pixar's Inside Out, what are Riley's parents' names? <laughs> There's no way you know this. No idea. I don't know it. <laughs> you don't, no, neither don't. of you? Um, if, I, if I don't get a penalty for getting it Maria wrong. Maria and John. No. Okay. <laughs> Jeff. No. Okay. Bill and Jill Anderson. Nope, never. Yeah, that's great. Okay. That's that's tough. All right. I should know that. But question six: What is Voldemort's wand made out of? Um, I should know this. Phoenix feather and Hollywood. You're very close. Do you want to give it a go? No, I know it's Phoenix I feather. But I know it's the same core as Harry's. I have yeah. no idea what the wood is. You with a Phoenix feather core. Yeah. No. Don't give it to me. No. Do you want half a point? No. no. Or you guys want to do that? No. No half a point. I feel like there should it's be what, consequences what? for getting what the wrong that you guys are going to get. You? You. Y-E-W. No. Never. How old is Dumbledore? <laughs> 130. No. No. Uh, do you want to take a go at it? Yeah. Why not? Uh, 93. No. 116. Never. Where did underrated Chicago Bears running back David Montgomery go to college? You're kidding. <laughs> Stanford. No. Okay. I don't freaking know. <laughs> Auburn. Iowa State University. Never. Had to include them in Love there. you, underrated Chicago Bears <laughs> running back David Montgomery. <laughs> um, who is the voice for Bowser in the new Super Mario Bros. movie? No! Jack Black. Yes. Damn it. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Give me that point. Give him a point. Don't think I'm not looking yeah, at that. Don't, don't cheat him out of a point. That's f***ed up. It's a tight game. It's two to three. All right. Next question. What suit was Captain America wearing in the Avengers Age of Ultron? I don't know what you're asking. He has, like, different suits that he wears, right? Yeah, but do you know the name of any of them? Like, I know them at the, the, the suits that they are. Yeah. Like, right? Like, like the Winter Soldier suit is, is the like Winter Soldier the blue suit. Yeah. with the silver. Yeah. And, like, the, the Infinity War suit has no star. So you don't know the answer. No. Uh, do you know that? What was the answer? Colorized version of his shield strike. No. Never <laughs> get <laughs> that. Never get uh, that. I just like making this as difficult no, as No, that's great. Can. That's great. Okay. Next question. What was Wanda Maximoff's first appearance in the comics? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I know this, so you definitely don't know this. Uh, you jumped the gun. Yeah, um, freaking, I don't even know how to answer that. Do you want that. the specific comic or just like the characters? Because then we have Fantastic a 50-50 shot. No, f no. Is it, is it like comic number one? Just answer how you would want to answer, and I'll tell you if you're on the right track. Because it's either Avengers or X-Men. So we'll pick one. Give me X-Men. It's X-Men 4. Yeah, I, like I was asking, like, do you want the specific I, comic? I mean, I'll, I, you, I'll give it to you because you said it. I feel like that's fair. I didn't, I'm, I didn't like specify the number. That's ridiculous. Okay, fine. He doesn't get the point then. All right. I think I should get the point, no. but whatever. I don't want to make it unfair. Who was originally cast as the Hulk in the Incredible Hulk movie? 
Oh, originally cat. I'm just gonna say who it was. Edward Norton. Yes. Yeah. Damn it. <clears throat> I thought you'd slip up. I thought she was asking who was cast before Edward Norton. Yeah. No, no. I meant yeah. Sorry. Yeah. In okay. Ang Lee's Hall. Next question. Who was the first actor to play Robin? Oh, no idea. I forget his name. I can picture him so clearly. The guy with Adam West? Is that who you're thinking oh, of? Oh, no, then never. Yeah. I could never. I, I could. No, I, I don't know that actor's name. What's his name? Douglas Croft. Never. Douglas Croft. You ever get that? No. No. Sorry, I'm making it hard. No, it's great. Who was the voice of Peter B. Parker or the older Spider Man? In- yes! Sudeikis, Jason Sudeikis. No. No. Oscar Isaac. No, that's 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 2099. Frick. Peter B. Parker isn't Sudeikis. Older Spider-Man. It's Jake Johnson. I googled it. Whoa. I don't think that's I correct. I googled it yesterday in the Uber. Peter B. Parker. All right, I'm gonna look it up. I'm a hundred percent. That's Jason Sudeikis. Well, you you thought the dude from Mean Girls. You thought Elon Musk was in Iron Man three, and you and also thought I also thought, thought it was Charlie Theron in the Lego Movie. No, it's Jake Johnson. That's not Jason Sudeikis. <laughs> I would have told you the guy from New Girl. You're an idiot. I thought that was Jason Sudeikis. No, that that should be a negative point. You're what does a, Jason Sudeikis look like? I think you I should know. get a point taken off for no, assuming no. that. No, that I don't is know that's exactly <laughs> who I was picturing. That's the guy from New Girl. I was gonna Jason, say the guy. Okay, from so New- it was Jake, Jake Johnson. Okay. What was the stepmom's name in Cinderella? Lady Tremaine. Yes. Give me that. Give me that all day, baby. Give me Disney. <laughs> Give me that. This one you guys might get. What year did Stanley die? There's a time limit. I know. Uh, uh, exactly. I'm going to go 2019. No. Oh, no. Okay. Now, uh, give me like. No, I know what it is then. That sucks. That sucks. Okay. 2018. Yes. Yes. Whoa. I was going to guess 2019 too. No, maybe. because it's Mar- Captain Marvel has his in the credits. Well, he's in Endgame. Yeah, yeah. That's his last. They filmed a bunch of them in advance, yeah. but he. Cause, cause it's him in the credits, so I thought I was like, it's really either early 2019, cause it's Captain Marvel came out in March or something. What was Pietro's name in Wandavision, like his real name? Ralph Boner. Yes. Bonner. Yeah. I can't f- believe I, just I let got you got a Wandavision question. I can't believe you I didn't. Suck. I didn't understand what she was yeah, asking me. I even had to, I processed it for a second. I can't believe, I didn't understand what she was asking. This one I don't think either of you are going to get. What is the first Elvis song played in the movie Lilo and Stitch? Um, I know this. Uh, um, I don't know. It's, um, Burn in Love. No. It's not right. Mm. Oh, that's at the end. The first one. Can't help falling in love. No, no. it's not played. It's at Heartbreak all. Hotel. Yeah, never. Darn it. Had to incorporate. I thought it was Hunger Burning Love. These are good. These are good. These are good. These are good. Um, oh, what it. year did the first Spider-Man comic come out? I'll give you. I was gonna give options, but you jumped the gun. <laughs> <laughs> it was a multiple choice question, so okay. you don't get them. Here we go. Here we go. I'll give him some time. Be nice. <laughs> It's a decent amount after the 40s. Going 67. No. I think right. I, I would have guessed in the 60s. Yeah. Go. I want options. Okay. Yeah. 1970, 1956, 1962, or 1952? I'm going to go. 1962. Correct. Yeah. Wow. I was five years off with no getting. That's pretty I, I was ridiculous. gonna say 64. Or like, that's pretty ridiculous. I do want to say that. 1960. How many questions are left? Three. The game is over. Yeah, the game is over. No, no. Yes, oh. it is. Oh. I have three. Well, let's keep going. Uh, right. So they're fun. They're good questions. How old was Daniel Radcliffe when he ended filming for Harry Potter? He was eight when he got the role. Twenty-three. Oh. Okay. Twenty-one. No. Nineteen. I was gonna guess nineteen until I'm you said twenty-three. I Gosh, can't dang believe it. it. That's okay. crazy. What year? Did he looks so old. A lot of filming. Um, what year did Scooby Doo first air? Forty-two. No. Okay. Thirty-nine. No. That's later. Way off. Yeah, it's nineteen sixty-nine. Wow. Okay. Last question. Most important. Oh, no. Are you Team Haley or Selena? 
Team Haley. I don't know enough about this situation. Okay, I, I've, I'm Haley. Y'all are bullying I somebody's wife. I am breaking up with you. This is bullshit. What? I'm Wait, so why? glad Andrew won. Why? Wait, what? I, I, I have I have just heard that she has been losing a lot of followers. That's all I know. There's just a lot of drama. Like what? Um, she posted a TikTok that was about Selena and body shaming her because she has lupus. She did not and then, do that. Yes, she did. Get the f out of here. Then she like copied a bunch of sh Selena did, like tweeted about her. There's a picture of her holding up a magazine of her, like when Selena was dating Justin, tweeted things like, oh, Jelena forever, like That's all this weird. really weird sh that's and weird. then there's like proof of her. She got a G tattooed in the same place that Selena got one after. That's weird. Even though Selena's tattoo is for her little sister. Cop got a tattoo of a ring that Justin Bieber got Selena Gomez while they were dating. Like really weird. Sounds like a psycho. Yeah. But I don't know if that's enough to cancel someone just to call someone weird. When I'm you're not gonna... a celebrity, you can't be fat shaming other celebrities. I think <laughs> okay. that's a little, a little bit weird. Um... Like girl. You're, you're married to Justin Bieber, like, stop. Just take you know, a, you got take the man. You got the man. Leave it alone, you know? All right, um, Alex lost, um, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I, I don't think it was particularly close. I think I doubled his points or something. But um, he's going to be dressed as me now for the rest of the episode. So I've got my eyes closed. Come on out, Andrew. It's going to be so ridiculous. Ready? Who's your favorite Spider-Man? <laughs> This is what you look like. Please don't say that. How many movies has Phil Coulson been in? See, that's a tricky one. Gosh, I don't. I really don't want to look at this for the rest of the episode. Last Jedi isn't a good movie. Oh man, I didn't think your hair could get worse. That's so much worse. This is what you look like. I'm not gonna. I'm never gonna recover from this. Button. Um, <laughs> um. I like your hoodie. <laughs> Are we doing anything else the rest of the episode? Can I keep my eyes closed? We're doing who is more likely. Okay. Who's more likely to look good in a Spider-Man hoodie? Certainly you. Yeah. I look like shit. What do you think of my jeans? <laughs> I look like this. I look like this. You look like this every day. Oh, gosh. Okay. Can we just move on? I need to think about something else. All right. Who is more likely between the two of us is what we're doing for the rest of, uh, for, for the next segment. Okay. So here are some options. I asked some people on social media and the like. Who is more likely between the two of us to go to jail? You. Probably me. Yeah. Easy. Uh, who is... Probably for having sex with a horse. Who is more likely to get married this year? You. So you would think... There's no way I'm getting married this year. But why not? You're like a you're going to get married if you find the right girl, you're going to get married in a month and a half. Yeah, but I Yeah, but you've been in a relationship for 4 years. I have not. But we aren't getting married anytime soon. Yeah, but neither am I. If I meet someone this year, even if I fall in love with them, I'm going to date them for a bit and then I would have to have the wedding planned. I don't think either of us are getting married this year, but I would vote you. Okay. Who is more likely to kill the other one? I think that's an equal 50-50. I don't want to kill you that much. Yes, you do. I want to kill you right now because I'd, I'd rather not look at this. Yeah. So you would rather kill me. You're probably more likely to kill I'm, me. No, you, you are much more likely to murder someone in general. Sure, but not you. Yeah, but you have the murderability. With great power comes great murderability. Uh, That's on game. For I, real, for real. For real, for real. I think you have the ability to kill someone more in your blood. I do not. Sure. So I'm giving Who's more likely to come out as gay? You. Yes, but I think you're more likely to be gay. And your religious constraints <laughs> prevent that from happening. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, no. Who is more likely to be starstruck by a celebrity? Neither of us. I agree, but I think it would be you. I've yeah. just been around a lot of famous people. So have you, but like... Yeah. People don't really 
bother me at all. I will get, if I actually know the person, uh, because I will get passionate and excited, not because they're like necessarily famous, but if I know them, I met like a YouTuber who isn't that famous that I'd watched before. And I just got really, I like lost my mind just because I was like super excited. Not because I was like, oh my gosh, it's a celebrity. Uh -huh. So I'll, I'll take that. Interesting. Um, who's more likely to quit the pot? Well, you say you want to quit the pot every day. Yeah, but it's all sarcasm. Yeah. I think I'm less likely to quit the pot than you. Absolutely not. Really? Absolutely not. I've been, I, I've been in the content game for a decade and I haven't but, quit. But that's what I mean. It's like you're going to quit to other things. No, I'm loving the podcast right okay, now. Okay, good. I'm the glad only reason that. I would quit is if you do something absolutely terrible. What constitutes as absolutely terrible? I, I don't know. We'd have to figure it out. If I murdered somebody, you'd quit the pod? Probably. I like that that wasn't a yes. <laughs> it depends on who you murder. No, yeah. Uh, if I cheated on Rachel, would you quit the pod? No. Interesting. That's great news. That, that, that is not an invitation to do so. <laughs> um, no. Uh, I don't uh, the only reason I asked that is because he said very recently to me, that he wouldn't want to be friends with me if I ever cheated on Rachel. I don't ever plan on cheating on Rachel. I've never cheated on Rachel. I don't plan on it. Cheating is what broke apart my family. If anybody doesn't want to cheat, it's me. I just thought that was the craziest thing in the world. That you wouldn't be friends with somebody because they cheated on the... They're, they're your friend. You're not friends with their spouse. Well, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't... Ask, I would potentially still be friends with you. I just wouldn't... I wouldn't, like, let it... Like, I wouldn't... Just be like, oh, that's cool. I'd be like, what the, f like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It would, it would damage the friendship. I don't, and damage the podcast for a bit. I don't know if it would end it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um. Would you end it if? Huh. Would you try and find another co-host if I quit? Yeah, I've thought about that already. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I'm Rachel's. Rachel's. I've got. A, I've got another interesting question. Um, if I got hit by a bus, yeah, and was in the hospital for two weeks, yeah, would we shoot the podcast in the hospital? Sure, that'd be a cool yeah. setting. Yeah, May, Met, maybe Metro you, General hit us up. I would. Re, we should try that. I can go get a bus because then maybe you'll go into a coma and come out of it with better takes. Maybe. Um, yeah, I don't. I can't really think of a co-host that would we would vibe as much as we do. Can, oh. can, do you think you'd find someone? No, but I also couldn't find somebody with, you know, the natural base of fans that you have, you know, you're a great business, a business opportunity. opportunity. Also, nobody is going to edit as much as you do. You're very, you're, you're, this so is, has nothing to do with my personality and like my ability to talk. This has been by far the best business mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thing I've ever done in my life mm -hmm. because we just gel so much mm -hmm. business wise. Mm -hmm. I couldn't care less about you as a person. Right, right, right. Obviously just kidding. Mm -hmm. I love you dearly. Button. I love you so much, and I wouldn't do this podcast with anybody else, okay. personality-wise. All right, great. We could literally outsource the editing, and I'd still do it. Okay. Uh, I like your jacket. <laughs> who's, Sorry. who's more likely to get a cat? I don't like cats. I don't really either. That's on gang for real, for real. <laughs> for real, for real. Okay, next. Who's more likely to shave their head? I have an answer for this. You. Yep. I want to shave my head. I want to go bald so bad. Are you serious? Yep. Rachel? No, I'd break up with me. She, she said she'd break up with me. I want what to go bald. What if it's for the pod? What if we get a million subscribers and like... The oh, I will shave my head for a million subscribers. A hundred percent. Come on. Rachel can't say anything about that. If you get it to a hundred... <laughs> A million subscribers. Shit, man. I'll do it for 100,000 subscribers. You get us to 100,000 subscribers, I will shave a my head. Shave my head bald. A million on TikTok. A million on TikTok. Uh, and, but we also need 100,000. So we need a million on TikTok because that'll happen before 100,000. A million on TikTok, 100,000 on YouTube. I will shave my head bald. Can, can I help? Can I be like you can do on it. the pod? Fans can do it. We'll do it at a meetup in a public location. And everybody gets one. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, a hundred percent. We'll do it at this thing. It's great. Hundred percent. That is, yeah, a hundred percent. Who's more likely to get a speeding ticket? Me. You drive like a maniac. Everyone says that. I don't believe them. I don't have a car. <laughs> that is a great point. Uh, uh, who is more likely to star in a movie first? Me. I think so too because you're just more famous. <laughs> but I think long term, I will star in more movies. You, I, I don't want to star in a movie. Oh, I, I want to, oh, oh, Dave Filoni, John Favreau, Kathleen Kennedy, whoever I have to blow. I want to be an Imperial officer so bad. I just want to be the guy in The Last Jedi at the start where he's like mildly inconvenienced that he's going to die. Like his last shot, he's like, 
as like the dreadnought is blowing up. I want to be that. I would so badly want to just only, go fire the cannons and only. And they had it used to only be British people, but they had a southern guy in Mando, so they can be whoever. I'm very excited. Only, only if every character you ever play, you have to wear a black hair wig. Gotcha. Yep. Under the imperial cap. Yep. Gotcha. All right, perfect. Um, uh, who's more likely to be? I don't know how to. Somebody asked me this. Uh, who's going to be more famous by the end of our careers? Me. I think so too. You're already a lot more famous. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Me? Yeah. I don't know. But you want it. I want it and. Like the takes, like I could be infamous. Yeah, you could be infamous. That that's interesting. Uh, who's more likely to rob a bank? Me. You. Yeah. Yeah, and murder someone along the way. Probably. Who's more uh, more more likely to get addicted to substances? You. I've been addicted to substances, but I've beaten it. I don't know if you have the strength to beat being oh, yeah, addicted to substances. But also, I have I have an addiction to gambling. Yeah. So. See? I, so and you're, I have a crippling all, and I have a crippling, crippling porn, porn addiction. addiction. So I already have multiple addictions. So I feel like it's easier to just add another one. Yeah, it's definitely. You. Also, I've never partaken in any substance ever. You've so. never drank? Nope. Really? I've never had a sip of Not alcohol. Not once. Not once. Huh? You're legal though. I know I'm legal. Yeah, I'm 25. That's odd. Okay. Um, <laughs> so definitely you. Uh, <laughs> who is more likely? This is fun. Who is more likely to hit? A trick shot with the very world famous Magic of Matt, aka the Tricksters, aka our roommate. Yes, who is I thought, more likely? I thought you were going to say who's the most likely to hit a woman. Who is more likely to hit a woman? Rachel is raising her hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rachel is saying, "Yeah, well, it's not me. I don't hit things. I don't hit." People, I hit things. Interesting. You get mad at people. I do get mad at people. I don't get mad at people. I, I get, do mad, get at mad at people. people. Um, hit a trick shot. So you've hit quite a few, yeah. but I've hit quite a few. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say me. I'm gonna say me. That's fair. That's fair. Right. Uh, who's more likely to get sick on a roller coaster? I have an answer. You. Yeah. Why? I get really bad motion sickness. And he has these glasses, dude. Oh, please, can we? Find, do we have them? Yeah. Oh my gosh, please get them. Oh, I can't. I can't. What am I doing with my life? What am I looking at? This is like your favorite look ever. I have a podcast this in my gl- with you. Yeah. Like I also, my hands get really cold. Yes. And you, he has these like little gloves and he like comes to my room. And he's like, my fingers are cold. And then he just comes in with these like really fuzzy gloves on. And this is, this is peak Alex right here. This is peak Alex. These I- gloves, they keep me alive. My hands get really cold. I feel like I have anemia. So I need these gloves to keep me warm. If you are only listening to the audio version of this podcast, let me describe to you what I'm looking at. Alex is in a Spider-Man zip-up hoodie. Just like you. And a black wig. Just like you. With liquid motion circle looking white glasses on. Like the minion goggles. With fuzzy white gloves on. And he's waving his fingers at the camera. And you need to follow us on Instagram so I can post a picture of this. It's... You are a good business opportunity. Look at yourself. This is a viral looking human right here. I hope so. Uh, so yeah, I agree. I'm getting more sick on a roller. I've gotten so sick on so many roller coasters. They really just are disorienting. Mm-hmm. Um, who's more likely to leave the country to not live here anymore? You. Yeah, I love Spain. I could live in Spain. I, I lived in Spain for four summers. Yeah. I love Valencia. Is has my heart. I want to live here. Um. Uh. There. Here's. Are you Are you gonna keep the glasses on for the? Yeah. Who's who's more likely to this is a two parter run for president? I think it's you. Okay, me. Yeah, I'll take that. But who is more likely to win the presidency? And I think that's me. I think that's you. Yeah. You'll you'll play more dirty. And, yeah. Yeah. And you have you'll you'll network better. Yeah. I agree. I, I'm my, also gonna kiss ass better than you. Yeah, what yeah, I'm for sure. Notoriously good at ass kissing. Yeah. Very good. That's all I've got. No, that's pretty good. I'd like to extend you an olive branch. This has been a mostly nice episode. Yeah. But so you got me a gift uh, uh, last episode. It was a mean gift. It was a mean-spirited gag gift, but I'm going to get you a regular gift. Button. There's no 
place I'd rather be doing anything with anybody than rather be doing this podcast with you right now. It sounds like an everything everywhere all at once line. Yep. I got us some peeps to share because it's almost Easter and I love peeps. <laughs>